we're learning about the NetHttp package and the handler interface, right? This is important, so anything with that method is also a handler, implements the handler interface. And then we saw listen and serve takes a handler, so we give it a handler. And, uh, and then we looked at the request, and we saw the different parts of the request. We saw the method, and this isn't all of the request struct nor all of the comments. Right, and we saw the form, right? Saw these two things, got form values, we used that one after parse form. Saw this, we got the method. We saw this and we got URL stuff, the raw query, and then also the path. And uh, and then here we have something header, and the header is of this type, right? So if in the documentation I look at the header. Here's the header, and I just click that type. It takes me to here where it says type header is this. Okay, it's a map string string. So I'm interested in seeing the header stuff. It's a map, a key of string, and then a slice of strings. And what are headers? So headers are when you go to a web page like this one, and you make a request. And then you're like, okay, let me see that. Here's the request headers and the response headers, content type, text HTML is a response header. Here's like user agent is a request header. And so those are headers. And they're all part of this HTTP specification where we have the request line, the headers, and then the body, which would be the form data submitted. And the response, we have the status line, the headers, and then the body, the payload, the page, right? And so now we want to kind of take a look at those headers. And this is all according to the IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force, and the RFC 7230, HTTP 1.1, which I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to learn HTTP 2. What was the structure of the request line? That line is made up very precisely of something. What was the structure? So why don't you go find it? And, and tell it back to me, unless somebody could just say it right off the top of their head. The request line structure is what? Request line structure. Is that what we just printed out? Like the scheme, the old thing, that's not that. No, HTTP request line. What is it? So the response request line is method space request space HTTP version. That's a request line. And then the stats line HTTP version space status code space reason phrase. So HP 1.1, 200, okay. HP 1.1, 404, not found. All right, so uh, the header, here's the header, and it's this type, and it's from HP header, and it's a map, string, string. So now we're going to print out the header. I'm going to show you how to do it, and I think this file needs to be cleaned up. So we have, I haven't even done it yet. Perfect. So I need to pass my header in. So I'm just going to put in our field here, header, capital, so it's exported. And it's type HTTP header, right? And then down here, I'm going to do request header. So I've just passed that data in. Now I need to come over to my template. Let me make sure I'm in the right file. And I need to do my header data. So if header, so if that data is there, I'm going to show this. And uh, what is header data? So it's a map with a string string. So I could range over that. So I could do a key value colon equals and I have to range range now where's the range go 
the range goes range. So I'm spacing on the syntax for how I write that range. So let's go find that. So I'm going to go to Godoc text template and look for range and range 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 variables here we go no range pipeline variables there it is so range dot 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 okay so that's what I need so I need the range here. Range. And it's going to be header. So I'm going to range over that, and then I have to end that. So that will give me each of the entries in the map, because we're dealing with a map string string and I've said sign it to the K for key and V for value what's value it's a string right so I could say here I could do h1 and show the key and then I could do another range range and I'm going to range over those values because that's a slice right that's a slice of string right there and then I'm going to do h2 or just I could do a unordered list Ally. Um, maybe there could be multiple, which is why they put a slice of string. Why else would they do it? So this will catch them all if there's more than one. And so I think that code's good. Famous last words. Value life depends on it. I was going to do an accent there of some culture, and I stopped myself because. Why would I associate that with any one culture? So there are my, uh, my headers. Yeah! So can I just look at the, the main.go code again for a sec? Yeah, let me put it up. Because I missed that. 